Hi guys, long time no see. This is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com and I have with me the HTC 8X. This particular model is for T-Mobile USA, but a very similar model is available for AT&T as well. Really, I'm uh, going to have to blast through this. I've got a lot of stuff going on and I don't really have a lot of time to go through all the details, but I would really be remiss if I didn't point out um, the great aspects of this phone and get it on your radar. So let's go through some of the base specs. Uh, first of all, T-Mobile is selling this for $199.99 on contract. In terms of uh, processing capabilities, it's got a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon S4. That's a dual-core processor uh, running at 1.5 gigahertz. Very, very speedy device. Has a gigabyte of RAM. Uh, also seems to be more than adequate for a Windows phone. Windows phone is pretty uh, resource light, so um, it doesn't take as much uh, processing power as Android does. 1800 milliamp hour battery in this thing um, and in spite of the pretty large battery like that we've got nice thin profile look at that really really pretty it's about 10 millimeters thick the entire thing weighs about 130 grams it is just a beautiful piece of hardware in this case we've got kind of a soft touch navy blue color scheme to it uh, obviously you can see the Beats logo on the back we've got Beats audio 8 megapixel camera with flash uh, records 1080p video it's also a 2.1 megapixel camera up front for things like Skype video calling which is really cool you'll notice the new interface here you have a lot more flexibility in how you lay out tiles we've um, had the ability to lay out tiles in all sorts of different sizes now we can uh, just long press here and you can jump through and see you can make them small wide or just single square which is really cool so you can do a lot more than you used to be able to do with it. Otherwise, the system looks pretty similar. Um, you have the same basic things you had before in terms of uh, you know, multitask switching by using long press on the back button, for example. Search button brings up Bing Search. Does not offer um, search function inside the applications. That's uh, usually handled by buttons uh, defined on the bottom of the screen, which uh, some people don't, like myself, don't really care for. I'd rather use the search button. But um, other things that the device can do in terms of its hardware, it's got 802.11 BG and N Wi-Fi support, so it can connect to just about anything. Quad-core UMTS, um, 42 megabits per second, 3G, 4G data speeds. Uh, so it's not only compatible with the 1700, 2100 megahertz bands used by T-Mobile USA, also compatible with the uh, 850 and 1900 megahertz frequency bands used by AT&T. So uh, that's pretty. that's pretty cool right there with uh, roaming agreements or maybe you get the thing unlocked you can uh, use this phone on AT&T with absolutely no problem whatsoever uh, in terms of the display it, it's just absolutely beautiful it's a 4.3 inch Super LCD 2 display it's kind of like what we've seen on the uh, HTC One X the blacks are really black for an LCD display here I mean you can just see on the video how deep these blacks are colors are absolutely fantastic and I would take this display over a Samsung Super AMOLED any day of the week 720p HD resolution, so of course that means we have 720 pixels by 1280 pixels. Uh, main menu over here, just like you would see in Windows Phone 7 or the 7.5 uh, updates. And to protect that pretty display, we've got Corning Gorilla Glass 2, so it's uh, nice and strong and scratch resistant. NFC capability built into the device, and there's 16 gig of storage in this. There is no ability to augment the storage, though, just like we saw with the older Windows Phone devices. Um, 16 gig built in, that's it. You, there's no uh, micro SD slot. You can't just stick something in there and get it up to uh, 32 or 64, uh, which is quite unfortunate. But other than that, you know, really, really pleased with the hardware. And uh, that's not a limitation that's uh, coming from HTC. That's kind of a Windows Phone platform design. So can't really blame HTC too much for that right there. So I'm not going to go through all the details, you know, like the new Internet Explorer browser, which looks pretty darn good, I, I have to add. Um, but I am going to show you a couple of new features that we haven't seen before in Windows Phone. And one of them that I'm really pleased to see is uh, the Kids Corner. It allows you to define you know, a password and then set particular videos or games you want to play um, or want your kid to be able to play. Say, want them to listen to Typo Negative. I really don't want them to listen to Typo Negative. But I have these albums here couple applications they can pick um, you know my son if he wants to use a calculator that's great flashlight also pretty benign I'm gonna let him go into the uh, photo enhancer too, just see what kind of damage you can do there basically once you have all these things set then you just launch the kids corner and you can hand the phone over to your child and they're not going to destroy anything you can see right up here in the nice 
Metro interface. It's the music he's allowed to play, it's the pictures he's allowed to look at, videos, and you know, here's the new uh, photo editing app. Take a picture if he wants the camera, and there's the flashlight. As you can see, the flashlight functionality right there. All nice and safe, uh, and your child's not going to be destroying your phone. And when they're done, they just turn it off, and the next time it comes back on, it'll require a pin code if you uh, if you set it to that. I took that off because uh, obviously I don't need to protect myself from you guys here. Uh, other things, let's go back into settings. We've got a more in terms of themes. You might notice this uh, kind of a I call it almost a sage type green that I'm using here. A uh, lot more to choose from in terms of color palettes here. Let's take a look uh, other things we've got in here. Battery saver mode. You can see um, 16 gig storage. We've got just about 11 and a half free. It's about 12 when you first get the device. I've got it set to automatic brightness mode um, which works out pretty well. And in terms of um, battery life. I've been getting an easy two days out of this device. Um, you know, I'm not pounding it, obviously, but two days is, is a piece of cake with this, which is a little hard to get out of an Android phone. You can also see we've got typical HTC stuff like the attentive phone, so you know, you, you, know, you flip it over to um, mute the ringer, uh, the Beats Audio built in, and as is always the case with Windows Phone, uh, you don't have to leave any of the carrier installed apps. Uh, say that's 411 and more. Just long press on it. You can see if I wanted to, I could add it to the kids corner. I could pin it to the start menu, you can see it pop up down here, and you can see you can probably resize it too. Some things you can resize um, between three different sizes. Some of them are only two, like this one here. And more importantly, when I go back to the menu, I can uninstall it because I don't really need that at all. And as is always the case, and as is always the case with Windows Phone, uh, you don't have to leave any of the carrier installed apps. Uh, say that's 411 and more. Just long press on it. You can see if I wanted to, I could add it to the kids' corner. I could pin it to the start menu. You can see it pop up down here, and you can see you can probably resize it too. Some things you can resize um, between three different sizes. Some of them are only two, like this one here. And more importantly, when I go back to the menu, I can uninstall it because I don't really need that at all. And so there it is, my super quick look at the HTC 8X Windows Phone 8 device for T-Mobile USA. For MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.